Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Office Blow Gaiden. Okay, Aiden. What it's... do you know about baseball and pitches? Not much. All I know you can throw in if you don't hit the ball, you get a strike and you have to throw it in some sort of certain box. But do you know what's always confused me about that box? Like, how does the, like, what do you call the guy standing behind it? I know the umpire. Is it yeah. the umpire? Yeah, I guess it's the umpire, right? I'll have to let us know. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> if, you, if you just said to me, what's the guy called the umpire? I'd say the umpire. Yeah, yeah. that's what, I don't baseball, know how, baseball he, umpire. how he sees the box. Because but what he does, can't... he kind of crouches down, doesn't he? And he's got the view, sort of like above the catcher's head. Yeah. And sort of like stands behind the batsman. So he's got the view of that imaginary box. Yeah. And then the screen, they show it on the TV, sort yeah, of like yeah, what yeah. it would be for the, for the viewers at home. But um, what you do as well, you have all different types of baseball pitches. So you have like a slider, a knuckleball, a fastball, okay, um, a curveball. Curve and you've, ball. you've heard that in phrases, haven't you? Yeah. When someone says, it's from me a curveball. Yeah. That's where it comes from. Right. I'm assuming that's where it comes from. It either comes from here or something similar to that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so they're gonna, these are identifying all the different baseball pitches. This is what goes into baseball. And what you'll see, people let me know on this, I'm not 100% sure, but what you might see is the catcher behind. He'll squat down, he'll put his hands between his leg and give him some kind of sign with his fingers on what ball to throw. And they, if they, oh, really? And if the pitcher agrees with it, he'll give them the nod, and then that's what they'll throw. Yeah? That's quite interesting, right? Mm. So uh, here we go, how to identify pitches. baseball pitches. Identify baseball pitches. Hey, if you've ever watched a Major League Baseball game, you probably know how difficult it can be to identify the different types of pitches that pitchers throw. So I put this video together to help you identify the pitches that you might be seeing in a Major League Baseball game. In general, the three things that you're looking at are, number one, the velocity of each pitch, number two, the movement of each pitch, and number three, and this is kind of a bonus. The it must be so hard to hit that ball. Yeah. This, Jesus Christ. Especially when, especially when you don't know, they don't like it. I mean, it's hard to hit. You know how you play cricket. Yeah. Do you know how, to hit it is, how hard it is to hit one of my balls on cricket oh. when it's bouncing in front of you <laughs> at high velocity? Oh, right? is it And not? you've got to try and get the, get the bat on it. So I, I always uh, hit sixes against you. Yeah, of course you do. And, um, but what you've got on these is, like I say, you've got the, the curveball, the, the knuckleball, yeah. you know, the fastball, the, uh, and these even balls, I don't know what they're called, they're going to tell us on here, I guess, but you even get ones where they go and then they go up. Because it's the way, even... they, where they hold it with the seam, I'm guessing, and how they throw it out their hands. No, I don't know. Mm. How would you even do that? Pitch arsenal of each individual pitcher. If you go to Baseball Savant, you can look up the various pitches that each pitcher throws. For example, if you know that a pitcher throws a curveball, a four-seam fastball, and a changeup, that narrows it down for you pretty nicely. All right, let's get started. Fastballs. The fastball is the basic pitch of Major League Baseball, and it's the type of pitch that you're going to see the most. There are three basic categories of fastballs, and most major league pitchers use one of these types of. If you miss the ball, but like if you miss if the batsman that hits the ball, but it doesn't actually go in that box, is it it's no strike? Yep. If you swing, if you swing, it's a strike. No, I know, but what if the baseball doesn't go in the box? But you swung your bat. Yeah. It's still a strike. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Fastballs as their primary pitch. Foreseen fastball. The four-seam fastball is the most common pitch in Major League Baseball. It's also the easiest to identify, because from the angle of most TV broadcasts, a four-seam fastball appears to travel in a straight line, with no vertical drop whatsoever. This straight and level movement is a result of the high amount of backspin placed on the ball. If you see a pitch that's traveling this straight at 90 plus miles an hour, you're probably looking at a four-seam fastball. Some four-seam fastballs actually appear to travel upwards as they approach the plate, and this is called a rising fastball. Despite the way it looks on TV, this upward movement is just an illusion. Sinker or two-seam fastball? The two-seam fastball, or sinker, has movement as it approaches the plate. This movement is usually downward and or towards the pitcher's arm side, so away from the glove. If you see a pitch at fastball velocity that drops or appears to run or... What you normally find as well is with a catcher, I've noticed that a few times, but I answered your question before about if it goes outside of that zone. No, it's the umpire behind, sort of like crouching down, yeah, sort of over yeah. so he get, he's getting that view of that sort of like area, zone. And what the catcher will do, if he's got one that's going out of the zone, he'll catch it and then move his arm into the zone. So it looks like he's caught in the zone, trying to deceive the, the umpire, yeah. I'm guessing. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, this, would, this is what I pick up in my head. I mean, the people might tell us, and what's it? No, they do that for a different reason. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know baseball that well. Just what, when, I've been, when I've been to see it, I, I hate know. to be that 
person behind catching the ball, though. You've got to be mad to be a catcher. Yeah. Especially in the old days. They used to not, well, say the old days, probably not so that long ago. You used to be able to slide into home plate and then they had the, they had the ball. So they had to try and stop you. So it was like a full on collision. Yeah, really. And the catchers used to love it because they're not, you know, some of the catchers are absolutely bonkers. But yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a, when you get to know about this, it becomes a whole different sport. Yeah, yeah, it does. Or twist towards the pitcher's arm side, you're probably looking at a two seam fastball. The terminology can get a little bit confusing at first because people call this same type of pitch by two different names. The most common practice is to call it a two-seamer if it arrives up in the zone or if it runs laterally without much downward movement. Reserving the term sinker for a two-seamer that drops or that arrives low in the zone. But it's also fairly common to use these terms interchangeably or to just use one term. For example, StatCast will call this pitch a sinker every time, even if it arrives up in the zone. Cutter. The cutter is the least common fastball in Major League Baseball. By definition, the cutter is characterized by late and sharp movement towards the pitcher's glove side, so the opposite direction of a sinker. In practice, however, a cutter can also drop or break hard towards the glove side like a slider. The unpredictability of the cutter can make it one of the hardest pitches to identify outright. And in fact, it's not unheard of for major league broadcast crews to disagree about whether a pitcher has just thrown a cutter or another type of pitch, most commonly a slider. It looks like a slider, actually. <laughs> just a crisp, hard slider, a little break to it. Cutter, they're calling it. The good news is that pitchers who throw a good cutter at the major league level tend to use this pitch quite a bit. So knowing that a pitcher throws a cutter is your first step in identifying what that pitcher's cutter looks like. Breaking balls. Breaking balls are pitches thrown with significant top. I associate breaking balls with New York gangsters. Hey, why are you breaking my balls? Is that <laughs> what I <they> say? <laughs> but you see, see what I mean about when you like you, you swing before the, the, the umpire is not always going to get it right, whether it's in that zone. Yeah, exactly. That's you know what, what I, mean? I thought. Because yeah. you could be you right swing that outside, round and he's but... still calling a strike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even when they've not swung, but if they swing, even if regardless, if they swing and it misses. And it goes outside of that zone. That would annoy the fans watching it on TV, surely. Hmm? That would annoy the fans watching it on TV. Well, it's because, any, any, like any sport, it opens up for opinions of argument, doesn't it? Of, oh, yeah, you know, sure. That was a strike and he should never have got it. And you know, he, should have, he should have been walked to first base when he was three and two or whatever. Yeah. You know, when it's, uh, it goes all out. But yeah, it's, like I say, once you get to know about different things like this in sport and you understand the rules on a, on a better level, it's, it's good fun. Mm. You understand the game better. You're more, you're more enjoyable. Would you prefer pitching or batting? Batting. batting. Um, I prefer to pitch, I think. Would you? Yeah. But that could be too hard to bat, but also it looks hard to pitch as well, right? Well, we'll, we'll do, we'll go to the batting cages and have a go. I've had a, I've, I've kind of had a go at like, you know, um, small batting cages, so like, you know, just for fun occasionally here and there, but there's some, there's some ones in, in Manchester we can go down to and have a go and see how we do, see how we compare. Probably good. My eyesight's gone a little bit now, but I'll have right. to try, you have to try and wear them big glasses that can see the ball. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, not an excuse, <laughs> mate. I'll smash the park out of you. Oh, would you? Yeah, yeah absolutely, okay. mate. Yeah. Or side spin that causes the ball to change direction as it approaches the plate. This change in direction is called break. There are two basic types of breaking balls. Curve ball. The curve ball is generally the slower of the two breaking balls. The archetypal 12 to 6 curve ball gets its name from the fact that it breaks downwards as if it's traveling from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. But a curve ball can also travel towards the pitcher's glove side or come in straight and then bottom out. The curveball is almost always the slowest pitch that a pitcher throws. So if you're looking at a pitch that's traveling anywhere from 60 to 80 miles an hour with a looping or a dropping motion, it's probably a curveball. Slider. A slider is a breaking ball that breaks diagonally towards the pitcher's glove hand side. Sliders are generally thrown faster and with a tighter break than curveballs. As you watch these sliders, you might be noticing that some of them are bearing a resemblance to curveballs and others are bearing a resemblance to cutters. This is a good time to say that these pitches all more or less exist on a continuum. And people sometimes use terms like slurve to describe pitches that don't quite fit into one of these categories. In any case, if you're talking about a slider or a slurve or a curveball, you're talking about a breaking ball. And the good news is, if you just call one of these pitches a breaking ball, you're never going to be wrong.
Off-speed pitches. While the term off-speed pitch technically refers to any pitch that's not a fastball, in practice, the term off-speed pitch is usually reserved for pitches that mimic fastballs but that come in at a lower velocity. There are two types of off-speed pitches that you will commonly see. Change-up. A change-up is a pitch that's disguised to look like a fastball, but arrives about 8 to 15 miles an hour slower. To my eye, most change-ups look like sinkers, but again, they arrive 8 to 15 miles an hour slower than that pitcher's fastball. Let's take a look at a couple examples. Here is John Means throwing a fastball at 95, and then here is the change-up. When we slow this down, we see this is just a standard four-seam fastball, 95, and the change-up looks like it could be a sinker, but arrives 11 miles an hour slower than the fastball. Here's Lucas Giolito, fastball 96, and then the change-up, arrives at 85. When we slow this down, we see it's a standard four-seamer again. And then with the change-up, this Giolito's got an unusual pitching style, hasn't he, to me? A lot of the other guys seem to be coming right back with their arm, whereas his hand doesn't doesn't seem to start further back. Just well, notice that. On this uh, this guy pitching here now, his arm doesn't come back far Fastball around. 96, and then the change-up. Well, like he keeps it bent. Keeps it more, more sort of like from here, whereas the other guys come from further back yeah. when they're throwing it. I guess everyone has a different, different style. style yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just how you, how, but how you're throwing a minute of pace, though, isn't it? From York. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arrives at 85. When we slow this down, we see it's a standard four seamer again. And then with the change up, same delivery comes in looking like it could be a fastball, but it arrives at 85. The change up is designed to be deceptive, and even professional broadcasters can get it wrong. One. Uh, fastball. Take it low. Two fastballs. I think that was a change. Think it was a change? Yep. 89 miles an hour. Yeah, he throws harder than that. This is a pitch that becomes much easier to identify once you start paying attention to the pitch velocities that are displayed on screen. Splitter. The splitter is an off-speed pitch that is thrown like the fastball, but that has a significant and late downward break. This diving movement is a result of the low spin rate placed on splitters, which pitchers achieve by using a split finger grip that gives this pitch its name. It's easy to see a splitter and at first think that it might be another type of pitch that has some significant downward movement, like a curveball or a sinker. But once you start paying attention to the velocity of each pitch, you should be able to pick out the splitters. Here is Shohei Otani throwing a curveball at 79 and a splitter at 88. When we slow these down, we can see that the curveball has kind of a tumbling action to it, whereas the splitter comes in looking like it might be a fastball and then just drops. The splitter is ultimately not a very common pitch, so knowing that a pitcher has a splitter in their arsenal is a good first step in identifying that pitcher's splitter. Less common pitches. The fastballs, breaking balls, and off-speed pitches that we've seen so far constitute the vast majority of pitches that you'll see when watching Major League Baseball. There are a few other types of pitches that you might see, and we'll go through them pretty quickly. Ephus. An Ephus pitch is an incredibly slow and high arcing oh, breaking that. ball, if you want to call it that. Fork ball. What? The fork ball is like no, an ex- I see that again. I've that never seen that ever. Which one was it? This pitch is an incredibly slow and high arcing <laughs> breaking ball, if you want to call it that. Fork ball. The fork ball is like an extreme splitter, and these will often land in the dirt or touching home plate. Screwball. A screwball is a breaking ball that breaks like a mirror image of a slider, so towards the pitcher's arm side. It's been years since one has been thrown at the major league level. Knuckleball. And finally, there's the knuckleball, which is an unpredictable and floaty pitch that's thrown with almost no spin whatsoever. So that covers pretty much every pitch you're gonna see when you watch major league baseball. If you know that you're gonna be watching a baseball game and you wanna get better at identifying pitches, the best thing you can do is go to Baseball Savant and search for the starting pitchers for that game. See what they pitch so that you are prepared and you know it's coming. Beyond that, just keep paying attention to how the pitches move and the velocity of the pitches that you see on TV, and it won't be long before you are identifying pitches pretty well.
Real quick before we wrap up, it should be made clear that each example that was shown in this video is a well-executed example of each pitch type. And in order to show the full movement of each pitch type, I only included videos where the batter did not make contact with the ball. In reality, not every pitch that you see in a Major League Baseball game is going to be this pretty or is going to conform this well to the definition of each pitch type. Breaking balls might not break. <laughs> this is called a hanging breaking ball and they happen all the time. Hanging breaking balls are usually hit for power, so you don't want them. Pitchers will misfire on their fastball. And pitchers are always changing up the velocity, movement, and location of their pitches in order to keep batters guessing. So even the same type of pitch from the same pitcher can and will look different from pitch to pitch. So give yourself some time, and if you want to identify pitches by just seeing them on TV, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get there within a couple weeks if you just keep at it. Feel free to come back to this video anytime you want for reference. Unless it's a submariner style pitcher, in which case you're on your own. Jesus. Like through that old didn't he sort of thing like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That was a... Uh... A lot of them like look like it's gonna ball, the ball's about to hit you, don't mm. it? And then you yeah. like move out of the way, and the next you know it curves yeah. around last minute. Goes to show how different baseball is, though, from your knowledge of what you've seen of it prior to yeah. that. So that's changed your whole sort of like uh, outlook on baseball a little bit, of knowing that there's there's more to it than would have only thought it'd probably be fastball. Yeah, is that what you only thought of? N yeah, fastball, curveball. Mm. That's probably about it. We didn't get to see the knuckle. Was it the knuckleball? We didn't get to see. No, we or? saw the knuckleball when he said he Which throws it straight with no yeah. spin. And it's Which one? Did it, it was screwball. We didn't get. Was it something like that? One, the one that you said that like kind of went up. He said it was a. Didn't he say on there it was a um, a television? Uh, it's, all, it's all in your head type thing. It doesn't really oh, happen. Oh really? It just looks like it does on the TV. Oh. But I think the knuckleballs kind of like goes like this. Kind of. I think it's all like moves it's like. Same as like football. If yeah. You do, if you're in yeah, knuckleball, like football down like that. Moves in, yeah. The, yeah, in random mm, directions. Yeah. I think that's kind of what that is as well. He was getting to. But it's uh, yeah. I mean, baseball is one of them. Rather than sort of like watch it on TV and do it, go to the game and watch it because it's a great sport to watch. There's loads of loads of baseball you can go to. Not here. So, well, the baseball, there is baseball coming over here this year. Really? I, don't, I can't remember who's coming yet, um, but it's being played at the West Ham Stadium. Oh, um, yeah. So, we'll go to that and uh, we can go and watch that and see how it's there, uh, see how the set you know, I'm impressed by as well. The, the catcher, how does he always know where the ball's going to be? And not only that, with the catcher, he has to be so quick that when he, if a ball comes and you do like um, a one that hits the dirt sort yeah. of thing, he's got to be scoop it up quick, especially if he's runners on base. Mm. He's got to be quick to get that up and get it out to the base. Is where I don't know to sort of like try and no, I guess stop he's got to have the a base. Good throw on him as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they all, I think all baseball players have to have a good throw, probably because yeah, the outfielders have got to get the ball back yeah. in. Yeah, so yeah, it's interesting sport. I quite enjoy it. In baseball, do you usually just play one position, or would you change like? No, you well you you bat you bat and you uh, and you field, but not. I think one of the leagues. Let me know which one. I get mixed up with the two leagues: the National League and the American League. And one of them, the the catcher doesn't bat. I think. Oh really? Yeah, I think. Do they have like a dedicated hitter or something like that? Uh, someone let me know on that. What the comment is? I'm just going off memory. Mm. But I remember certain catchers didn't bat. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the catcher. That might have changed in, in, since I've been. Um, but that that used to be the rule. I'm pretty sure it was the catcher. Because sometimes in like in cricket, you have people that do both, don't they? Well, you have people that do. Uh, you mean bat and bat field. and ball? Yeah, but yeah, and ball, bat and ball, yeah. yeah, and field, yeah, and uh, pitch, yeah. Um, but you get like there's famous people like you know you have shortstop, first baseman. That's what they play. Mm. Your first baseman or a baseman, shortstop, outfielder, whatever it may be. Huh. Interesting. In, enough. It is interesting. But the more you got to watch it, you got to watch it more to get an understanding for it. And videos like this will educate you on. I'll have to think and watch more about baseball then, eh? Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. Hope you guys enjoyed that too. Don't forget yes. like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.